morning my pancake loving friends my name is Alicia Claire welcome back to my channel and if you guys have been with me for a little bit you know that I have been working on a homemade pancake mix recipe that I can make for myself make my mornings nice and easy and I finally have it all set to go I made myself a test run the other week and it's been going great so far so I wanted to share this with you guys because I know that mornings can be really busy but it's so nice having something that I can make a little bit quicker than normal or even make extras and put them in the fridge I've always fallen into that trap of buying pancake mixes myself because it just seems like it makes a breakfast item that I love so much easier so I finally was like you know what I need to make my own so that's what we're here doing it is a plant-based oat pancake mix that doesn't need any oil and because it is plant-based there is no butter eggs milk anything like that there is soy milk in it but you know it's soy milk there are a couple different ways to break down this recipe and I will share all of these on my website and in my recipe blog and in the description down below the original recipe is about 650 calories sometimes I make that one especially if Jared's home and I want to share some with him or if I'm a bit hungrier or if I want to refrigerate or freeze some for a future morning or sometimes I will split that recipe in half so I will share both those breakdowns with you depending on the kind of morning you're having I'm sure many different protein powders would work but what I've been using and testing for this recipe is forms protein powder all of their protein powders are plant-based this one is their unflavored and when you make that half serving of pancake mix you still get a full serving of protein powder so that's 15 grams which I think is awesome mixed in with the about 325 calories of pancake in the recipe I've still noted when things are a cup tablespoon teaspoon things like that I've tried to add that as much as possible but since I'm multiplying out a recipe so much I really was doing grams for the most part so some things that you might need for making this recipe a food scale I'll have this one linked down below and any of the other featured kitchen products whatever I might use I'll have linked down below for you guys mostly Amazon links in case you're looking for any of these items I love this food scale because it actually links into my calorie tracking app in my phone so that's a plus I have my Vitamix blender and then two different tablespoon measuring spoons I like to use one is just the regular one tablespoon metal scoop that I leave in a lot of my jars and then this is my adjustable measuring spoon I love this guy it's kind of my little secret weapon on one side it measures tablespoons and on the other side it measures teaspoons so when I for example I'm only doing a half recipe of pancakes things get broken down to be like half a tablespoon of applesauce for example things like that so instead of having to do one and a half teaspoons or trying to do half of a tablespoon you can literally just adjust this back and forth and then have it line up with the little ticks on here to be different amount. So let's dive into making the mix and then afterwards we'll whip up a batch of pancakes. My biggest tips for blending everything together, first making sure that your Vitamix blender or really whatever your blender you're using of course is completely dry because putting these wet ingredients into a blender that is damp at all, it's just gonna end up sticking on the sides and then you can't guarantee that everything is mixing properly. If anyone's got a sifter, you could totally sift these things into the pitcher. I mean, I have a strainer. It's not quite a sifter. So I'm just going to be really careful when I'm adding things to make sure that they're as evenly spread out as possible. So because of that, I add all the dry ingredients into the pitcher first, with the exception of the oats. So I mix that all together first, let it become its own concoction. That way I can control how much the oats are actually blended in the end, because this is completely up to you how blended you wanted to have them. I've done them both ways where I practically blended them to be flour. And then another time I did it, I kind of tried to get it to be like that, but I didn't realize that I'd actually left a bunch, bunch of chunks in it. And as I was pouring it out, I was like, you know what, whatever, I'll just try it. And I actually really liked it that way. It makes it seem a little bit more, almost a little more crunch in your bite, but I've become a fan of making it that way. So it's completely up to you how much you want to blend it. The original recipe makes about six pancakes. So you can multiply that recipe out by whatever you want depending on the size container you have I did five times the original recipe and that almost filled up my 54 ounce jar so for my portion size I'll be mixing 425 grams of oats 200 grams of protein powder 60 grams of baking powder 65 grams of brown sugar 9 grams of cinnamon and 7.5 grams of salt And then I also 
also a couple times will shake it a little bit so that I am making sure that all of the ingredients at the bottom aren't just staying at the bottom because how terrible would that be if all of your baking powder, for example, ended up in one batch of your pancakes and then none of the other ones had it. So just make sure that you're mixing it well. this one a little bit more than I honestly intended to but I have this little side jar that I this is the one that I've been working on from the past week as my little test run and you can kind of see that the oats in this one are just a bit more whole I'm not sure I feel like you can tell a little bit so you can honestly blend it however you prefer. With our pancake mix made, now to actually make the pancakes, let's be honest, that's why we are here. As I said, this can get broken down into two different ways. You can either do 150 grams of our pancake mixture, along with one tablespoon of applesauce, three quarter cup of soy milk, one large flax egg, which is three tablespoons of hot water with one tablespoon of flax, or you can do half of that, which will be 75 grams of the pancake mix, half a tablespoon of applesauce, half a three quarter cup of soy milk ends up being 90 grams of soy milk. Or what I'm calling a small flax egg, which is one and a half tablespoons of hot water and half a tablespoon of flax. Normally when making these pancakes, the first thing I'm gonna do before anything, before even pulling out the other ingredients, is make my flax egg because that needs some time to just set and sit. If it can get 15, 20 minutes, that's awesome. And living in a tiny house, I have minimal options for how to get quick hot water, so I've actually been using my espresso machine. So I'll just stick my little four ounce measuring glass underneath the hot water spigot and since today I'm gonna do the full recipe, I'm just gonna put this little four ounce glass measuring guy underneath my hot water and do three tablespoons of hot water and add in one tablespoon of flax. Give it a little mix and then just set it aside and let it chill there. I recently started doing it this way with the hot water and I honestly have noticed a difference. I think it makes the flax egg a little bit better for simplicity, when I make these pancakes, like I mentioned before, trying to make this an easy morning routine for me to do, I just use my two cup measuring cup and I pour, weigh, mix everything into this guy. So I'm gonna start off with three quarter cup of soy milk or 180 grams. And add the one tablespoon of applesauce. Mix that together. Then using a food scale, add on top of that 150 grams of the pancake mix. And then mix that together. I'm 
I'm going to once again set that aside and let that thicken up a little bit. It helps make the pancakes a little bit fluffier. So while all the ingredients are settling, I'm finally gonna pull out the griddler, plug that in, and start heating that up to 350 degrees. I found this to be the sweet spot. I test out mixing the pancake mix a couple times, and once I feel like it's gotten uh, just a bit thicker and isn't gonna create a watery pancake when I pour it, I then add the flax egg, fully combine that, and if the griddler is ready to go, then I start pouring out my pancakes. That is another plus of using the two cup glass measuring cup. You can just pour it right out onto your griddler. Less things to clean, less mess. We are here for it. I pour out about three pancakes at a time, give them three to five minutes on each side, a little bit more if I feel like it needs it, and they're good to go. about a serving of syrup on top and that's that this was really fun for me to create so I really hope you guys enjoy it if anybody ends up making it themselves let me know let me know how it goes I hope that you enjoy having it and eating it and the whole thing <laughs>